What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Coming to you in another YouTube video. So here we are, internationally renowned and worldwide syndicated. You know where it's at. It's four years plus and running on YouTube. That's right. Four years plus because I started CFX with my YouTube channel back then. On my first channel, that is. And I'm on two channels now, but uh, I started my youtube channel and cfx was the centerpiece of my channel back then and so it was the foundation of my earnings is what i used to always say and um from there you know i branched out and to doing all these things to where i'm at today all right as you know times have come and uh you know you come full circle right four years plus and i've shown you guys all kinds of stuff throughout this whole time with cfx from the beginning of the journey to where i try to reach out to the likes of clover and he big time me <laughs> and then the funny thing was he ends up joining cash effects like a year later and i was thinking to myself Dude, if you just got in, when I got in on pre-launch, that could have been, you know, way, you know, taken care of right there for you. I got in pre-launch, July 2019. He got in about a year later, in 2020. I think it was like the winter of 2020, a year plus later. And it's just, you know, I'm... I don't know. I mean, at that point, you still had a few more months of good payouts until 2021 rolls around and the the payout started to get really bad. I mean, it paid, you know, it paid, but it just got really bad that I was like, I'm out, <laughs> you know. And then 2022 rolls around. And so I got out in February 2021. All right. And, um, you know, it paid out till I was in full completion, right? And then I would periodically have, like, residuals and things like that that I would try to withdraw. And I would try to show you guys how long does it take for each payout to come. And each payout of the residuals I would get would get worse and worse and worse and worse each time, you know? To the point where, shit, by the end of the year... We were waiting at least, I think it was like three to four months. No, I think it was like, it hit four months. It was 16 weeks. Yeah, it was about four months waiting for payouts to just hit your wallet. And by the end of the year, as Kinnear was said, oh, we're going to get everybody caught up by the end of the year. That was the end of 2022. I'm sorry, 20. 21 at by the end of that year and 22 2022 rolls around then that's when the train just officially stopped for good in january 2022 to where nothing was coming out i think maybe the first couple of weeks if anything and after that it the the wheels have completely fallen off for the rest of 2022 nothing came out of cfx and of course 2023 23 you know like we're already almost nine months into this year and of course nothing will be coming out of cfx i mean what do you expect you know and so it's just funny how things are you know dog days of summer platforms come and platforms go you know you see the things that are going on right now man a really good one for nearly a year Vortec United, you know, I got in during its pre-eminent heyday on that one. And that one was damn good, too. But I don't think it's going to be going any longer. Uh, Cloudfy is another good one, but having its own issues as well. And, you know, when you look at what we had in the past with CFX... Man, think about that. 
two clean years of nice payouts, right? I mean, 2021, it, it wasn't nice payouts, but it was still getting paid. So you could, you could pretty, pretty much say two years of getting paid, right? Man, platforms these days would be lucky if you even if you're lucky to squeeze a year out of them. I mean, even Cuba Life ran shit, not even quite a year either. I think it ran yeah, about a year. Because if, if if you got in on pre-launch, you got then yeah, you you were good for about a year. Pre-launch, uh, I didn't get in pre-launch on Cuba Life, and Cuba Life, I was there from. Let's see, it was. October, is it October? No, September, October. Three plus five, about eight months. I had a good, good eight months out of Cuba life. Or Cuba tech, however you want to know it as. And if you got in on pre-launch that time, yeah, it was at least a year of payouts on that. I wish I did that time. <laughs> I mean, you get in, and oh man, I missed out on getting in super early on PGI Global. Because I picked a different platform at that time. Can got. And PGI would have been way better than Can got. Had I went to PGI. And so. You know. I, at the time too. I was kind of going along with. The, the the trend of the platforms. It, it didn't seem like there was much traction with PGI. But I guess I was wrong man. You know. So. Why am I talking about all these stories you know. Because these are the stories of platforms right and usually they don't carry a next chapter <laughs> right Cuba life tried and failed miserably to try to go to the next chapter of being an education program and that didn't last very long at all that I mean that just they dug themselves in a hole at that point and buried themselves with their own shovel and said, we're dead. <laughs> All right. And that's a big example of what happened with Cuba life. When things got hot, they stopped the payouts. And when the payout stopped, they try to change and reinvent themselves to become an education program. Kind of like what CFX is doing, being a more of an education based program. And I, I saw how Cuba life tried to, set their formula on how you would make something out of it I, and it just wasn't worth it I, I didn't see how it'd be worth anything and so CFX is already in that path but I but this break of like you know a year and a half plus of establishing this sort of education or learning program uh man, that's just a long ass break. Cuba Live did it within the time frame. I mean, they ended up shifting right away into this education based thing. I guess they wanted to just kill themselves off as quickly as possible. Whereas, man, CFX has been dragging this thing on and on and on. You know, it's like, come on. You know, how about how about this? It, it's it's move on and. This is the past now. It's over. Stop trying to get people in to this new phase or new chapter of what is it going to amount to be nothing. All right. That's how bad it's going to be. It's going to amount to be nothing. And, but you guys want to learn for yourself. That's fine. You guys want to learn. I know the Steve, right? Cash Quest Steve. Uh, he wants to learn. So far... He's learned that when he joined in 2022 and trying to continue to upgrade his academy packs that one, he lost his original deposit Two, he's upgrading packages or academy packs full of zeros to get more zeros <laughs> and time wasted, right? He's wasted all this time. All, you know, over the past year and a half from what used to be like five minute weekly videos to now five minutes a month. And even that's a waste of time. 
talking about these platforms or this particular platform, right? And how much he's earned from it and all that stuff. And so I wonder what happens next when CFX finally goes offline with their Academy Pack earnings. I think, didn't they announce there's going to be a pause and all that stuff anyways with the Academy Packs as they're trying to shift gears towards this AP2C stuff? So if that's the case, then Steve got really nothing to talk about. <laughs> so that's just a case in point, you know, how much people can waste their time over nothing. And throughout this time, man, platforms galore, man. We've just been cranking it. And we all know platforms have a shelf life, right? They will have a shelf life. It could end in hours, days, weeks, months, and a year or two if you're lucky. But we keep pounding the pavement on that stuff. And then that's what we do and continue to rinse and repeat. To you stack that shit up and uh you know and until it stops and then move on to the next one we don't got time to sit around and wait for this shit to to which is going to be nothing and when you guys realize that when they finally if they even do launch this ap2c crap you're going to realize how much of time you've wasted over nothing which is going to amount to nothing and then you're, you're just going to be like, wow. <laughs> so all this time. And I'm just going to laugh at you guys. All right. I'm going to laugh at you guys. And I'm going to say, I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. I've been saying this since I left in 2021. All right. When I gave you guys all these different videos warning you about, look how slow the payouts are coming out of this thing. To where they suspended my account. To where... They continue this charade of bullshit, right? With the never card and the, hey, come over to AP2C and this is going to be a new you know, education-based program. We're going to be shifting things over. I don't even see how they're going to really shift your academy packs into this AP2C. Like, how are they going to work that stuff out, right? Like, how are they going to work some sort of credit? situation where they're going to say oh if you have a 100k academy pack it's going to amount to this much of whatever in HP2C so that's something that that's going to have to be explored as well if they ever get there right I mean there's so much crap they still got to really you know shift and bring over and and uh, manipulate the numbers of and all that stuff now, you're going to be waiting a lot longer, right? And this whole thing with, oh, man, you know, the cards are coming and stuff. How long have they been saying that for? A year plus? You know, hey, get your KYC done and you'll be getting your card coming real soon, right? A year plus later, they're still sending the same message. How long are you going to keep waiting for that stuff? And meanwhile, the latest news out of uh, CFX, let's see here, the latest news... We're going to find out right now. Latest news in CFX. And, uh, oh, man, let's see, over the past week. Let's see what they had going on over the past week, all right? So let's start with the 10th here, all right? So Catley, which, by the way, has stopped paying. So Catley stopped paying now. Uh, let's see, this happy look is like another uh, Vita look, Vita look, whatever. It's kind of like another variation of that. If you're like into clicking ads and numerous ads just to get paid to watch ads. What kind of shit is that? You know, it's a waste of time again. Yeah, so they're all focused on other programs like Happy Look. And Catley just exited. So all I got to say is there's other opportunities out there. I mean, why wait around and get paid? Or actually not get paid. I mean, if you really want to look into something... All right, here, here's something that's going on, and it's hot right now. I'll just throw a hint out there, and I want you guys to just kind of dig into this research here. All right, Invisible AI. That's the up-and-coming right now because everything else is kind of just slipping right now. And, uh, well, this one's on the boom. It's on the up-and-up. Up. So, yeah, I, you know, just do your research. Look into this one. Tell me what you think about that, all right? But as of CFX, still nothing. 
No updates. I'll see you next one.